Here we go, back at it yet again with another video. Good day guys, I'm Champ Chong and today we're gonna check out what's behind me. It's my gaming setup. So if you guys wanna smack that like button real good, it would be greatly appreciated. But um, yeah, in the comments down below also, let me know what you would add to your setup to make it even better. Like what would make your gaming setup like make you really happy? Just let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, um, I've actually got two sort of gaming setups to show you guys today. I've got this one behind me and then I've obviously got my living room setup which has my consoles. It's more my casual setup and it's got my new 4K 55 inch uh, HDR TV. So I'm gonna get to that. But first, let's, uh, let's go check out what's actually behind me right here. Okay, so, ah, woo. Okay, where do I even begin? I really, really don't know. But when you walk in, this is pretty much what you see. So I've got my chair here. Nothing special. I don't have a big racing gaming chair or anything anymore. This is actually just a really, really, really comfortable chair. And I like it. You know, it's not too over the top. It's very simple. And uh, it's, it's nothing too crazy. But... Uh, as you can tell, my setup actually looks quite similar to as it has for a couple of years, except this is a completely new desk, even though it's the same one. Those are completely new shelves, even though they're the same shelves, because I moved across the country and well, it was just actually easy to sell the stuff and then rebuy it and it was actually cheaper than to go ahead and uh, ship everything across the country because you're going from Sydney to Perth, so it's a bit of a wild trip. But before I get to everything right there, you're probably wondering, why is my microphone on this? It's just a bedside table. Uh, basically, uh, I usually have my camera set up like right here, and this is what you guys see in most videos. It's more, it's more so like this, and I need that for when I'm actually playing games, and then basically I just turn the microphone around when I'm recording videos, and you guys actually don't see it because I want the best audio quality. So you're probably not gonna get the best audio quality in this one because I'm just using the microphone that's on top of the camera, but, Ah, where do I really, really begin? So, let's actually, let's start on the shelves. So, over here, I actually haven't finished these shelves, the bottom shelf, uh, actually no, I've got something on every shelf. So, um, just uh, up here, I've got the Logan, um, I think they're one of uh, a thousand, there's only a thousand of these in the world, they're the uh, uh, Wolverine claw Claws, that's what I'm trying to say. And then you've got the uh, Max Payne there, Got a couple of old GTA games there. You got San Andreas, uh, which actually isn't available anymore, that version, uh, because it has the hot coffee scene in it. And then you've got the uh, Vice City, which is actually from Japan that I got a couple of years ago. So uh, back there is a Mad Max uh, game. License plate says Champ Chong without the vowels because they couldn't fit. You got the Pac-Man there. Got some Assassin's Creed, some Ubisoft stuff with Watch Dogs. And they've got these cute little PlayStation thing back there. Now, I don't have the best cable management or anything like that, so I apologize to all the cable management freaks out there. <laughs> well, not freaks, but you know what I mean. Uh, so, this is the desk. This is what I actually see when I'm sitting behind it. So this is kind of my view. So you can see right here. Uh, this, is, this is very nice, this is how I sit. And uh, let's start with my keyboard. So uh, it's kind of dusty right now. I apologize for that. Uh, but this keyboard is amazing. So let me actually check exactly which keyboard it is. It's from Logitech G. So it is the G213. So if anyone's wondering, oh man, I just hit the microphone. Um, sorry about that. But here we have this mouse right here, which I've been using quite a lot. It is the G703. Um, and then I've got this power play mat, which is amazing because this mouse is wireless. You're probably like, oh man, you have to recharge it. No, this thing right here is incredible. So it actually charges your mouse while you're playing, while you're not playing, while you're not using it, whatever. It's always charging your mouse. So I never have issues. My mouse is always 100%. Now, one thing I want to get rid of is these cables, obviously. So I'm probably going to drill a hole like here or something, but I have to get a drill first. So, so that that way the cables can kind of hide back there, maybe hide it like this. I, I don't know, but I've got to figure that out because I don't like those two cables running there because it kind of makes it look messy. And obviously I've got some cables here, but it's just a headset, it doesn't really matter. But, okay, so as I said, this is my view, everything. And if you're wondering what these are, uh, these are just the little uh, things to get those LED lights working, the purple, the uh, the turquoise over there. And uh, these are my monitors. So, as you can see, I've got three 27-inch monitors. Two of them are the same, one is not. So the two here are the Z27S from HP. These are 4K. All three of these are 4K, by the way. So this is 4K also, and then, damn it, there's a Fortnite update happening. Um, uh, so... 
This one in the middle, uh, these are just 4K 60, by the way. This one here is a 4K 144 hertz. Um, I'll leave the exact model, and it's HDR, by the way, so it's beautiful. But this is one of the greatest monitors on the freaking planet. Seriously, this thing is insane. But I will mention, as you've probably seen in my past gaming setup, I no longer have the stand. I actually took it off and bought one of these swivel stands, so that way it kind of floats and creates more space under it, which I prefer. I've got to get it for these also, but I've got to buy like a double one, like a double bracket or something. Uh, but yeah, I haven't installed it properly, so it's a bit wonky. Uh, just I set it up and I was like, oh, I'm happy, and then it kind of like has not set up properly, I've realized after a while, so that's my bad. But back to the uh, other stuff here. You can see I've got a MacBook Pro right here. Probably wondering, wait, this is a gaming setup. What's a MacBook Pro doing there? Well, it's really simple. This is actually where I edit all of my videos. I don't edit on my PC. I edit on a Mac. I grew up editing on a Mac. I've always edited on a Mac. So I'm used to Final Cut and that's what I edit on. So yeah, I, I need to edit on that. It's a 15 inch by the way. And these are 27 inch if I didn't already say it. But here's just a couple of controllers. I don't actually use those. There's more like displays because they're in the videos in the background of my videos and everything. Uh, this is the um, uh, Astro A. 40s. Um, I've got the A50s, the wireless ones, but I use those in the living room every now and then. And then uh, this is my mixer right there, so that gets all the audio for my microphone and everything, and that's the mixer for the headset. And speaking of my microphone, this right here is the microphone that I do use. It's actually really, really awesome. This thing is amazing. So uh, it is an XLR mic, so it runs through there goes into that mixer and then it runs into my PC through USB. But this thing is awesome because that way I can just kind of like move it around and everything the way I need to. And it's just, it's super handy that way. But uh, you can see I've got a spare camera. I'm using a DSLR right now. Uh, that's just a spare, I don't really ever use it. And then uh, actually sneaky, sneaky down there is my thumbs up button. Uh, thanks to my mate Ash for giving me that. He just had it lying around and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to use that in videos. So I ended up using it. But, oh boy, here is the cable management mess. You can see it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be on camera. Uh, in real life, it looks a little worse, I think. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about my, my awful cable management. I actually haven't bothered because my setup isn't 100% finished, but this is my PC, it's the Omen X. Uh, this thing is truly incredible. You can change these uh, lights and everything the way you want them so you can have like one panel different to the others or you can have it kind of like pulsating and just going through different colors and everything like that. But this thing's amazing, 28, uh, sorry, not a 2080 Ti, that's what I kind of want in it, but it's got two 1080s in there. So it's a SLI system, so you've got two graphics cards in there running at one time. But yeah, that's my PC. Uh, if you go to my older setups, I probably got the information for that in there and you can see the inside and everything. I cannot be bothered opening that right now because I'm off to China in just a few hours. Anyway, so uh, up here for decoration purposes, I've got this. It is the uh, Crash Bandicoot Aku, Aku mask. So yeah, I got that when I was doing the Crash Team Racing thing. If you've seen that video on my channel where we did in real life Crash Team Racing with go-karts and everything, I got that sent out. I don't know if I put those feathers back on properly because it, it got shipped to me where it didn't have the feathers, so they might be wrong in the wrong order or something like that. But I think I've missed a couple of things. Obviously, I've got some uh, other decorative pieces down here, as you can see. I've got a little... Uh, uh, Cartman uh, as the, I'm not even going to say that name, <laughs> you got uh, Goku, Dragon Ball Z, you got Batman from Arkham, and then you've got a couple of, uh, oh my goodness, I forget the name of that, that little guy from Star Wars. Oh boy, someone commented, I've totally blanked on the name. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've got the Dragonite there, which actually has a funny story. I was putting this thing together from a little gift shop in the airport in Japan, and uh, I was running to my... Uh, to my flight and I lost the tail on the way because I was running late for the flight. Um, and then I got a little Hitman there, which is pretty awesome, Agent 47. So, uh, that's pretty much the desk done right there. Now, I've got this final shelf here, which I have not finished putting stuff into. I know it's kind of annoying that the shelves are behind there, but it's just the way I've set everything up for now. I'm pretty happy with it though. I've got the championship belt there, the Stone Cold Steve Austin smoking skull. And then I've got the uh, YouTube play button there, as you can see, which is for the 100,000. Hopefully, 
I get to a million one day, that would be very, very nice, but that's gonna have to be a lot of hard work and I've gotta stay consistent on YouTube, which I'm not very good at. But that right there is my setup pretty much for my PC and everything. You're probably wondering where my consoles are. Well, sometimes I put them just down there if I'm playing my PS4 or if I'm playing my Xbox One. Uh, but they're not here right now. You can see my old Gato down there, HD 60 S. And, uh, but yeah, that is my setup with my PC and everything right there. It's an incredible setup. I'm very, very fortunate to have it and I'm very grateful. And uh, now let's go over to my living room for my other setup. Alrighty, so here it is. My gaming setup in my living room, my entertainment setup. This right here is the centerpiece, the giant TV. Now I'm using a wide angle lens. As you guys know, I use this all the time. So everything may look a bit funny. Like if I sit back on the couch here, this is what you see. So yeah, uh, by the way, those are some fire Jordans. I'm always too scared to actually wear them in public because I feel like they're gonna get dirty. But anyway, let me show you guys some of the cool stuff in this setup. So I'm going to tell you guys about the TV in a second, but the thing that I also use with my TV is this sound bar. So this sound bar is pretty awesome. It's a JBL one. Now I don't actually need one because I live in an apartment. I don't really play stuff that loud. Plus the uh, sort of built-in sort of Onkyo sound system that's on the TV is just good enough anyway. It's actually amazing, but we'll get to that in a second. But I've got the sound bar. Got the Xbox right here, which I mainly actually play Xbox um, in, in here. Like, I just, I don't know, I just prefer the games and my friends are on it, so yeah. But down here, I do have a PS4 Pro. Don't know how well you can see that, it's not lit up very well. Uh, controller's right there, let me just grab it, there we go. And then down here, there, right there, you can see, got myself a Nintendo 64, but you can tell, it's not even plugged in or anything. I think I got Super Mario 64 on there and just one controller. This thing, this thing doesn't work. That's why it's not plugged in. It's more just like a decoration, a decorative piece. It's nothing that fancy. Uh, well, I should say it's it's retro, um, but I thought I'd just put it here. It doesn't actually work anymore, unfortunately. Something's wrong with it and it's probably just cheaper to get a brand new one, well, a refurbished one. But let's let's back up. Uh, down there I've got some dumbbells, and over there I've got some pictures of my family. But here is the centerpiece of the living room. This right here is the main thing that you see when you walk in and just take a seat on the couch, because this right here is beautiful. It is the TCL 2019. TV. So this is a QLED TV. It's 55 inches, HDR, 4K, and it is just, just beautiful. Let me show you guys. So it turned out my controller actually uh, has no battery in it. The battery's died, so I just plugged it in through USB. But um, NBA 2K19, I could show you guys some of that, but 2K20 comes out in a few days. So I'm going to quickly go over, over here. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen the actual uh, full video, you can check it out in the link description down below. I actually went in sort of details, gave you guys sort of a rundown of this TV. Uh, let me, let me load up a game. I'm going to load up one of my favorite looking games on here. Oh no, it's updating. Are you kidding me? It has to be updating right now. But... Seriously, let, let me show you guys another game then. It's gonna have to be NBA 2K19. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys Forza Horizon, but it's not gonna happen. I'm actually leaving to China in just a few hours from now, really, like tomorrow morning. So see, HDR10, look at that, beautiful. This TV is seriously, seriously incredible. This is one of my favorite things in my whole apartment like you combine it with that sound bar it's already got the sound system in there from Onkyo but you combine it with that sound bar you combine it with the Xbox One X so that is an Xbox One X by the way and then we've also got that PS4 Pro which I showed you guys so both of those do HDR10 but this is actually more powerful like I know people are going to start getting in the comments like oh you're just favoring Xbox over Sony or whatever but no 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 none of that stuff so um, we're just gonna jump into a play now anyway, just to show you guys what it's like, and then, yeah, give me a sec. Alright, so as the game just sort of plays on in the background, I wanna show you guys this. This amazing remote right here. So, this remote, on top of just a regular remote, which you get on a normal TV, every, every TV has one of those, this one here, it lets you actually like talk into it and everything. It's really, really awesome, so you don't have to go typing away like, you know, like on every TV. This thing, 
is a savior. I'm not going to do it right now because I've actually got the game playing in the background. But as I said, you can check out like my full sort of like rundown of this TV. The link is in the description down below. Go check that out. But playing games in 4K HDR on here with like just it just looks beautiful. Like seriously, here we got like a Milwaukee Bucks game I think against Portland. You got that starting lineup right there, which uh, is probably very different in real life right now. But yeah, that right there is my living room setup. Got the amazing TCL 55 inch TV, got the Xbox One X, got that sound bar, and then I've got the PlayStation 4 Pro, some dumbbells, and obviously the Nintendo 64, which does not work. But yeah, that's my living room setup, and I love it. And there we have it guys, that is the gaming setup video. So uh, let me know what you guys think of my setup, well two setups, the living room and this. I could have done a whole apartment tour but as I have stated like three times in this video I think I'm off to China in just a few hours from now so I have to uh, I have to get this uh, done. So hopefully you still enjoyed this video. If you did make sure you smack the like button also if you're a brand new viewer around here make sure you simply click that subscribe button with the notification bell on. If you're already subscribed, make sure that notification bell is on. But that does it for me. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.